dollars to plant, you know, twenty million trees. We also did Team Bees. Did you see that one? No, I'm not very familiar with Team Bees. You mentioned <laughs> that, it earlier. That was a lot. Yeah, I don't think enough people care about bees, though. You would think more people would kind of copy it and do it. It's clear. You, if you get enough influencers together around something their viewers care about, like people will respond, and you can do crazy stuff. Is Mr. Beast trying to tell me something? Is this meant to be? Am I supposed to start Team Bees? Mr. Beast doesn't think enough people care about the bees, but I believe in you guys. I believe that Team Bees can be a success with your help. So I guess it's up to me. I have to start Team Bees because Mr. Beast will not. But I, I don't know anything about bees. You know what they say. In order to learn about something, you must become something. It's a bee. It's a bee, you guys. I'm going to become a bee. Jeez. Roll the clip! I still know nothing about bees. This bee costume is broken. Well, I guess there's only one more thing we can do. Let's fly on over to the Sweet Bee Honey Farm with Bee Master Keith, and he can tell us all about the bees. Let's go. What's up, Effie Clan? We're here at the Sweet Bee Honey Farm with Bee Master Keith, and today we are learning how to save the bees. We have a bunch of facts for you guys, and we have a way that you can help save the bees as well. So make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video and watch all the way through to find out how you can help save the bees around the world. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Except for a the mic, the, the mic was just being stung by a, a female worker bee. Okay, so so while you're doing this, I'm gonna I'm gonna spit some facts at you, and you tell me true or false, and maybe elaborate on them a little bit. Mm -hmm. So bees, the only insect in the world that produces food for humans. True or false? I guess true. I mean, a lot of people eat insects though in other parts of the world. But they're not producing any food. That's true. They're not producing mm -hmm. any That's food. True. Okay, yes, so it's I'll true. true. They're just on there. Yeah, it's, All right. it's just a way to <laughs> Okay, so um, we, have, we have another fact here. Uh, bees fly about 55,000 miles to make one pound of honey. That's true. True. One pound of honey, guys, they're flying, they're flying 50, 55,000 miles. Wild. While me and Keith are at the bee farm spinning facts at you guys, I'm going to be telling you about today's fundraiser. Our fundraiser that I chose for this project is Xerces. They are the world's leading nonprofit in helping save all the pollinators. You see, the honeybee isn't the only pollinator, but it is one of the biggest pollinators, pollinating over 80% of all of the world's plants. But we also have butterflies, wasps, or anything else that lands on a flower and goes and spreads the pollen to another flower, another tree, another plant. Eating honey makes you smarter. I'm, I'm gonna have to say false. False. Okay. I don't know. I don't know that it could actually make you smarter. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So we've got one here. The queen lives to be about two to four years, whereas the worker bees live to be about two months. True. Is that true? That is true. Wow. Oh no. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I gotta calm down. All right. So the bee's brain is about the size of a sugar grain. True. True. Dude, they look at that. I know. I just, they're coming after you. I mind. mean, that's fine. They're following me. They don't like me very much. All right, look at that. They're just stinging the mic. You see that? I don't know what's going on. Okay, I gotta calm down. Whew. Are they swarming? Are they, are they? Yeah. No, okay. Bees, they're a tiny insect with a huge impact. And we're losing over 50% of our honeybees every single year. The goal of this project is to raise $100,000 towards Xerxes to save the pollinators all around the world. Um, all right, so we asked this earlier. I'm gonna ask it again. Uh, honey is 25% sweeter than table sugar. True. Okay. They communicate through dancing, through dance moves. That is true. Yes, they actually do a waggle dance, and uh, that's how they can communicate to other bees where the nectar source is. Okay. So literally, they can just give them GPS coordinates. Basically, essentially, that's, that's kind of what it boils down to. That's insane. In layman's terms, they actually use uh, vector calculus. So they're actually able to use that figure eight of the waggle dance um, and calculate the azimuth of the sun 
and then from there they can triangulate exactly where that nectar source is using that vector calculus. All right, so uh, this is an interesting one. I didn't know, and actually I didn't know any of these, so I'm not pretending. Bees have five eyes. They do, they have uh, two, two sets of simple, they have a set of simple eyes that they use for navigation, and then they have complex eyes, three on the top of their head. Wow. And the complex eyes are actually used for uh, finding the sun. It is extremely important for us to save the bees of the world. All of the pollinators help a lot, but the bees help the most. And without the bees, we have no trees. Without the trees, we have no oxygen, and without the oxygen, guess what? There is no us. So bees are an extremely important project, and I hope that you guys can help me raise $100,000 to help save the bees. This is not going to fix our problem, but it is going to help and spread awareness. So make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel to watch the rest of the series, and share the video with anybody you think that might care. First of all, I'm just gonna give you a tip. Standing in front of the entrance of the colony is not really the best Okay, all right, well thanks right for that. <laughs> thanks for that tip, now that I'm, I know, I, now we're, that we're I'm 10 minutes in. Um, don't stand in front of the colony entrance, guys, um, especially with a microphone. Male bees are called drones. That's right. Right. Okay. Okay, so this is actually a drone right here. I'm not sure if you can visibly see that difference, but they're going to have bigger eyes, a little more of a bulbous body. Um, everything else on here is all female worker, worker bees. They're the ones that can sting you. The drone actually has no stinger whatsoever. Uh, wow. They're basically, their whole purpose in life is to maybe be able to mate with the queen, but oftentimes uh, they never get to fulfill that. Okay, right about here my mic was messing up, but I asked Keith if it was true if queens lay about 2,000 eggs per day. He said this is true. I also asked if bees lose their stinger when they sting somebody, and he said yes, that is also true. And if we you, found if the you queen. Look, she actually has an egg that was just hanging out of her, but that's the queen oh. right there. Oh wow, a she's a longer, yeah, way longer. Yep, right here. She's actually on the bottom of the frame right there. Okay. And she's kind of making her way around the other side now. Mm -hmm. But that's her. Um, she's she's going to look very similar to a worker bee, but she's just going to have a little bit longer thorax. You can donate $1, $5, $10, $100. It doesn't matter. Any bit of money will help us save the bees. And if you can't donate, that's okay too. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel down below, and I will donate 10 cents for every single subscriber gained during this series. I've gained 10,000 subscribers in one single month before, and 10,000 subscribers times 10 cents is $1,000. Uh, they say on Google that bees beat their wings about 11,000 times per minute. Yeah, so that's actually kind of interesting too. I, I like to watch Formula One. And that's actually the same RPM range that a Formula One engine would run. So I've always thought that fact was pretty neat. That's so insane. 11... You guys hear that buzzing? It is just insane. Insane. How many bees am I holding right here? Oh, uh, I think any one frame holds about 3,000 bees. Wow, guys. I might be holding up to 3,000 bees right here. Both <laughs> sides are covered. This is crazy. I am I am baffled like I said before this will not be the only video I make I am making a series of videos to help save the bees and we have three different goals in this series it is to raise $100,000 to help save the bees to get as many creators as possible to join in and make your own video so if you're a YouTube creator a content creator on any social media platform make sure to help me out help team bees and make your own video take a picture whatever I have shirts I can send out to you all you have to do is dm me on mr fe 420 on instagram and last but not least the final goal is to get mr beast himself to donate to team bees so everybody share this with everybody we need to make sure this blows up so that mr beast can see it we can get noticed by him and he will donate to our cause to help save the bees all around the world this is this is a truly amazing experience to see. So next, Bee Master Keith has volunteered to get stung by a bee to show you guys um, proper uh, what is it the to pull the stinger yeah, out? Yeah, the proper way to get a stinger uh, out. And uh, and just show you guys that they're not really extremely dangerous. So he's got he's got a bee. Yeah, so what you'll do is you just take the bee and you can just put it right here and kind of push its thorax down. There it goes. And you see now the stinger's coming out. Ooh. And that's the stinger right there. And the best way to get it out would be using your fingernail 
or if you had like a sharp tool, but using your fingernails, you, you want to drag your fingernail and push the stinger out like that. That way you're not, because if you squeeze the stinger, you're, pun you're punching more venom into your body. Mm. So the proper way to do it is to actually go and try to slide that stinger out. We're all fellow earthlings and what we want to do on this channel is help fellow earthlings, help the, help the earth, help the bees, help a anybody that lives on earth is a fellow earthling, right? The bees like are it. fellow earthlings. So there you, thank you so much, Keith, for, for letting us come out here and show, giving us a tour of the place, taking your time. This was super amazing and like just uh, super appreciative of your kindness and uh, willingness, man. It was my pleasure. Thank you. In my next video, I'm going to be purchasing my very own beehive and starting a bee farm. I'm going to build another beehive out of garbage, using the first one as a model, and I'm going to plant 100,000 flowers in my own backyard to help the bees survive. I hope to see you there, and we'll see you next time.